uniform and non-uniform motion. When an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, it is said to be in uniform motion. For example, if an object travels 5 meter in the first second, 5 meter more in the next second and another 5 meter in the third second. As the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, that is, it is covering 5 meter in each second, it is said to be in uniform motion. The time interval in this motion should be small. When an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time, it is said to be in non-uniform motion. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across motions where objects cover unequal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, when a car is moving on a crowded street or when a person is jogging in a park. These all are the instances of non-uniform motion. These graphs are showing the uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Measuring the rate of motion. We know that different objects may take different amounts of time to cover a given distance. Some of them may move fast and some move slowly. The rate at which objects move can also be different. But different objects can sometimes move at the same rate. One of the ways of measuring the rate of motion of an object is to find out the distance travelled by the object in unit time. This quantity is referred to as speed. So, how do we define speed? Speed is the distance travelled by the object in unit time or speed is the rate of distance covered by an object. Mathematically, speed is equal to distance travelled upon time taken. What is the SI unit of speed? We can easily find out its SI unit with the help of above mathematical equation. We know that speed is equal to distance upon time. SI unit of distance is meter whereas SI unit of time is second. Therefore, the SI unit of speed becomes meter per second. The other units of speed include centimeter per second and kilometer per hour. Speed has magnitude but no direction. The speed of an object need not be constant. In most cases, objects will be in non-uniform motion. Therefore, we describe the rate of motion of such objects in terms of their average speed. The average speed of an object is obtained by dividing the total distance travelled by the total time taken. That is, average speed is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time taken. If an object travels a distance s in time t, then its speed v is v is equal to s upon t where s is the distance and t is the time as already discussed. Let's look at this example. An object travels 16 meter in 4 second and then another 16 meter in 2 second. What is the average speed of the object? So, first of all, we will add these distances. So, the total distance travelled by the object is equal to 16 plus 16 that is 32 meter. Total time taken is 4 seconds plus 2 seconds equal to 6 seconds. Now, applying the formula of average speed, average speed is equal to total distance travelled upon total time taken that is 32 meters divided by 6 seconds. It comes out to be 5.33 meter per second. 
therefore the average speed of the object is 5.33 meter per second speed with direction the rate of motion of an object can be more comprehensive if we specify its direction of motion along with its speed the quantity that specifies both these aspects is called velocity what is velocity it is the speed of an object moving in a definite direction that is velocity is the speed with direction simply when we add direction with speed it becomes velocity it is defined as the rate of change of displacement that is velocity is equal to displacement upon time taken the si unit of velocity is same as that of speed that is meter per second average velocity when an object is moving along a straight line at a variable speed we can express the magnitude of rate of motion in terms of its average velocity what is average velocity it is defined as the arithmetic mean of initial velocity and final velocity for a given period of time that is average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 mathematically v average is equal to u plus v upon 2 where v average is the average velocity u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity of the object